Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Hampton. This is Derek Broom. Uh, you might say we're getting ready to go on a great adventure. We are searching for Jesus. And as we search for him, I think we're going to stumble onto some surprises. He's in places that, at first, we may not have thought about. Absolutely. One of those that we want to talk about today is that he was in God's purpose even before the world began. In the book of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 3, uh, beginning at verse 8, is writing about himself. And as he does so, he says, To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. You really can't map out all the great riches that are in Jesus. And then he begins to tell us what some of those are. And to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ, to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Notice an eternal purpose. In fact, earlier in uh, chapter 1, he had talked about the idea that uh, he, he planned all this before the foundation of the world. When he wrote to uh, the young man Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 1, again, we see him talking about the, this same idea when he says, uh, beginning verse 8 of chapter 1, Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. So there it is, Derek. We start off with the idea that God long ago, before he ever even made the first little piece of the world or of the universe as we know it, that already he had planned for Jesus to come to earth. Absolutely. And I, I love what you said there, you know, and just focusing on that before time began. You know, I once heard a debater talking about uh, the existence of God, and he was he started from uh, the position of, of intelligent design and showing how each thing that is made or that is formed or that is fashioned in some way, that it has a designer, that it has a, and we would like to use kind of a loose, loose definition of creator. Now, we look at the idea of mankind, we recognize that in order for mankind to be as we are, as, you know, as precise and as, you know, as, you know, special as each little detail has to be in order for it to work. We recognize that through all creation, through from our own bodies into the rest of the world, that there had to be a creator and that in order for him to create, he had to exist before the foundation of the world. Um, we think about this idea that time began. Uh, oftentimes, we like to think about time kind of always has been, but no, the only thing that always has been is God. As far, but then God was there in the beginning, and that's when time uh, began. Now, in our search for Jesus, and we're searching for Jesus before the foundations of the earth. I like to go to John chapter one, uh, because in John chapter one. We're going to see Jesus there before the foundation, uh, but also at the foundation. So, yeah. uh, so we see there in John chapter 1, starting in verse 1, it says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So it says in the beginning, and what this is focusing in on is the beginning of time, the beginning right. of everything that we know, everything that we have experienced, uh, even uh, even deep into outer space, everything that exists, this was the beginning. And it says, in the beginning mm -hmm. was the Word. But notice here that, especially here in the ESV that I'm reading from, Word is capitalized. So Word is going to 
is going to stand for a person. This is a person that this is talking about here. And it says, and the word was with God and the word was God. So this is talking about a very specific uh, individual. And in fact, it's talking about a uh, part of the Godhead, that being Jesus Christ, uh, the son. It says he was in the beginning with God. And, and we need to t take that into consideration because oftentimes when we talk about creation, we focus in on the Father. We think about the Father. In fact, I think a lot of the big moments in Scripture, we focus in on, okay, this is what the Father did. And it's true, the Father is the, the, the part of the Godhead we see acting a lot of the time. But Jesus Christ, he's there throughout all of this, from the, from the before the foundation of the earth all the way to the very end. Jesus Christ is part of this, and it says that he was there uh, with God. And notice this. It says this in verse 3. And all things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So here we're talking about Jesus Christ. He is, he is the light of the world. He is the, that which brings us life. And it says there was not anything that was made without him. That he was truly the word uh, and he was truly the source of all of, of creation. And that is just so wonderful. Now, let's back up because in order for him to be the source of creation, him to be that word, he had to be there before the foundation of the world. Um, we see that Jesus Christ, that he brought life, he brought uh, light to uh, mankind, and that is something that we need to, to cherish, that we need to praise him for, um, that as we continue our search for him, that we just focus on that, you know, Jesus Christ, he's, he's always been there. He's always there. He's truly uh, the eternal God. Well, he is, and in fact, uh, <clears throat> that was one of the big battles in the sense of the word that he ended up having with the Jews right. uh, in the book of John again. Absolutely. He's going down to chapter 8, mm -hmm. and they're having this uh, discussion, verse 48, they're speaking, uh, and the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. And I do not seek my own glory. There's one who seeks and judges. Most assuredly, I say to you, if any, anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And you say, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who is dead? And the prophets are dead? Who do you make yourself out to be? Uh, now's when he's going to get in trouble right. <laughs> because, because he's going to tell the truth, of yes. course. Uh, Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you've not known him. But I know him. And if I say, I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and saw it and was glad. Well, of course, Abraham only saw the day of Christ by looking down through the centuries. We'll probably come to that when we talk about Genesis chapter 12 right. later on. But then listen. The Jews said to him, you're not yet 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And literally translated, that would be, I exist by my own power. So you're exactly right when you say he existed before the foundation of the world. Nobody created him. He, he was just like the Father and just like the Spirit. He has always been. Absolutely. And I want to point out one more thing over in Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, starting in verse 15, you know, this is going to just tell us a little bit more about Jesus and about being there before creation and about what he has done through creation 
uh, and then really what he still continues to do. And, and that is, starting in verse 15, it says, He, talking about, talk, talking about Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. We see here that Jesus Christ is, you know, obviously he's the Son of God, and obviously, as we've seen it from John and other passages, he was there before the foundation. In fact, all things, as this passage here, all things were created through him. But I, I love what it says there in verse 17 because it, it talks about, it says he is before, before all things, and in him all things hold together. You know, there's so many applications you can make from that. I mean, first and foremost, you know, as far as all we all we know, all the physical universe and everything, he was there. He, he created. All right. things were made through him. He holds all things together. He's the glue. Now, we think from a spiritual connection uh, to something like that, Jesus being, you know, the uh, you know the author, he's the finisher of our faith, he is God, and so we see him holding, once again, all things together. Right. Uh, it's really just an, an amazing thing it as is. we look before the foundation of the earth to see Jesus Christ there. He was part of the purpose. He was the plan, <laughs> uh, and he came and lived out that plan uh, day in and day out, um, you know, through his, through his death, burial, and resurrection, uh, through his even uh, his ascension on high, um, we see Jesus, uh, and he has been active. He has been uh, in charge before the foundations of this world. Right. Okay, now you get a little taste of what we're going to try to do. Uh, we've already discovered that, man, Jesus is in a place we may not have thought about. That's right. Uh, before the foundation of the world, he is there. We want to encourage you to... Uh, Listen every time that we have uh, one of these studies together. Uh, if you have questions or comments, well, we'd love to hear them. If you think this is a worthwhile study, we'd like to know about that. And I guess if you don't think so, uh, that'd be all right. You certainly can vocalize it. Uh, but we, we look forward to having other studies looking for Jesus, searching him out in the Word of God.